checking in? Yeah. ID, please. Hope you had a pleasant trip from the US. You'll be staying in room 612. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. Hey there. I'm that part of you that knows better. When you travel, there are smart things you can do to protect yourself. Frank is traveling overseas for a conference. Instead of packing sensible items, like an extra pair of walking shoes, he's bringing several electronic devices. Do you really need all of those? I think about how many chargers you're going to have to bring with you. There you go. Minimize the amount of electronic devices you travel with. You can always find a disposable phone when you get there and even set up a throwaway email account for traveling. You'll still be in communication, but you won't be risking all the personal and work information stored on your various devices. No. No, 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 no. Frank, don't, don't do that. Don't post your upcoming travel plan so that everyone can see. But my friends and family are gonna wanna know that I'm traveling. So do the bad people, Frank. So do the bad people. And you've got your account set up so that everyone can see what you post. Maybe I should change my privacy setting? The excellent idea. Checking in? Yeah. Seems like a smooth trip so far, Frank. It has been. There's no uh, secret spies following me. I don't have any classified information. I don't even have a clearance. There's nobody targeting me. Right? Right. You still have access to... <clears throat> you still have access to proprietary information that foreign adversaries would love to get their hands on. But this country's a US ally. We've been friends for years. It doesn't matter where you travel. You can be targeted, not only by foreign intelligence services, who often operate in other countries, but also by business competitors, even in countries friendly to the US. Room 612. Hey, are we still on for that drink later? Yeah, I'll see you there. Great. Who was that, Frank? Uh, um, she is uh, just somebody I met at the taxi stand. She's a lawyer. We uh, shared a taxi together. To the same hotel? What a coincidence. It isn't a coincidence. Man, how do I know? Well, while you're traveling, it's normal to be social with new people. But just be cautious if someone already knows a lot about you or if they ask a lot of questions, especially about what you do or who you know. Not everybody is looking for something, but some people actually are.
Is that a work email? Is there some sensitive information in that attachment? Yes. Well, well yes, but I, I'm not in some sketchy internet cafe. I'm in my hotel room, and my tablet is fully patched and up to date. Unfortunately, that might not be enough. Assume that when you're traveling, you have no privacy, and that all of your communication might be watched, no matter where you are. Besides, you're traveling? Who's got time for work? Get out there, live a little. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Remember, your work and personal information is just as vulnerable in a friendly country as it is in an adversarial one. Never expect to have any privacy when you travel. And never leave your electronic devices unattended. It's not like I left it laying out, it's in the room safe. Oh yeah? How safe do you think that is? Remember, when you're traveling abroad, others are likely to know of this. You may be watched. They may be looking for opportunities. Know the risk. Raise your shield. I don't remember ordering room service. 